Hey, this is Dave Basulto with FilmmakingCentral.com. Today we are in Final Cut Pro, and I'm going to show you a really cool application uh, that just came out that works tremendous with Final Cut Pro for solving that dreaded beach ball, uh, saving user preferences, and so on. Uh, so let's take a look at it. For example, right now, if you're in Final Cut Pro, let's say you have had a bunch of projects going on, um, a lot of sequences, and your machine's just bogging down on playback, and uh, just going crazy. So, you know, you're locking up with the beach ball a lot. What we like to recommend is um, to go into your preferences, and let's just uh, take a look here. So i got a finder window. Um, and then I'm going to go into, uh, walk you through the whole thing, into my... Um, library and then I'm going to go down to preferences and I go to list view when I'm here so once I'm in the preferences I'm looking for a preference here that says uh, and I'm not going to find it right now because I've been using this great new software uh, I'm going to look for something that says uh, com it's probably going to be around right here actually it's going to say com.apple.finalcutpro.plist so that I'm going to take and drag into the trash. And then if I scroll down a little further, you'll see in the Final Cut Pro user data area, these three, I'm going to grab those and drag them into the trash. Then I'm going to restart Final Cut Pro, and we're going to reset. That's called trashing your preferences. It's going to reset everything. And uh, nine times out of ten, it's going to make your machine go a lot faster and the dreaded beach ball will go away for a little while. But, and that's all fine and dandy, but the fine folks over at Edit Groove Software, and that's editgroovesoftware.com, have a really cool program called Usermatic for Final Cut Pro. And I'm going to switch off Final Cut Pro right now so that we can... Um, because you can't use the full uh, Usermatic when it's launched, and I'll t it'll, it makes sense why, too. Uh, but here's Usermatic. It, uh, you would launch it prior to launching Final Cut Pro. And, uh, for example, let's say I had that dreaded beach ball. So uh, now I want to get rid of uh, my preferences. I need to trash them. It's one click here. Trash my preferences. I'm done. I go into Launch Final Cut Pro. And uh, Final Cut Pro is going to relaunch just like you would trash your preferences the old way. Instead of that, you just had to do one little click. And uh, here we go to the setup screen. Uh, for this, let's just say I wanted to make this uh, DV NTSC anamorphic. Uh, I'm going to have to choose my scratch disk. All the things you would do when you were setting up your preferences once again. Um, you're going to have to redo all that as well. But if it's going to make... Uh, the time spent uh, beach balling and going crazy, it's worth it. Uh, so it's all, it's filling in again. And um, we'll take a look at that in a second. Now, while uh, Final Cut Pro is getting um, loading there, you notice that these are all blacked out. And that's because Final Cut Pro is running. And while it's running, Final Cut Pro does not save uh, all your information that you have currently up there. Uh, it only saves it after, so we can't really do anything with it right now. And so there you go. Here's my Dave NTSC Final Cut Pro. That's what I chose to name it. I could rename it uh, if I wanted to. Um, and now I'm ready to do my work. And if I'm done, uh, one thing you want to do definitely is go into uh, Final Cut Pro and reset all your preferences. I have another tutorial, though, that um, you can take a look at. Called, uh, the, it just do a search for beach ball on my site and uh, you'll see a tutorial the old way but how to set up your preferences afterwards if you're not uh, too sure about that. But let's quit Final Cut Pro and uh, now I can go here and I can go to recall I can go uh, I can choose store and create a new uh, profile and call this one uh, HDV I want to and then that's stored um, I can call uh, oops so 
Sorry about that. I trashed my preferences again. <laughs> um, I recalled that one. So now we're back and I recalled that one. So everything's good. So now I'm going to store a new profile and I'm going to say um, this one's going to be, um, let's say ProRes. We'll just have that. So I can have an unlimited number of these profiles, which is great. Um, and if I want to recall them, I just click recall and I'm all up and running. One click right here, backup. Backup was successful. Uh, so all my profiles are now backed up into a separate area uh, away from Final Cut Pro. So if I ever need to get to these profiles, they're all backed up. And the way I get to see them, if I just press the command key and, uh, what is it? Command F. It'll bring up my Edit Groove Usermatic Library. And here, here's actually that uh, P list that I talked about earlier that's no longer there. Um, and here's all my profiles. And here's my backups. Everything's there in this, uh, in this Edit Groove uh, Usermatic Library. So very cool, um, good stuff here. Uh, you can duplicate things, delete. Uh, all the stuff you trash, by the way, goes into a deleted folder. So you can, uh, if you need to, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have deleted that. You can go back in and find it and, uh, and make it uh, active again. Very cool stuff. Uh, it's $34.95. Uh, pretty cheap for um, the ability to do one-click trashing, one-click backups, uh, and to store your numerous profiles. So check it out. Uh, they have a demo. And um, let me just verify... Yes, it is. It's uh, editgroovesoftware.com, and here it is, $34.95. Download the demo, and uh, you know, keep your head on and have fun. <laughs> I'm Dave Basulto. Enjoy yourself. I uh, highly recommend Edit Groove Software. It's very, very cool and very inexpensive, so take a look at it today. Okay, everyone, I'm out of here. Cheers.